this is the best frosting out there. Let's see if we like the consistency of it. We're gonna start off our cream cheese frosting with a stick of butter. So this is softened. To the stick of butter, we're adding eight ounces of cream cheese, and this is softened. You can leave this on the counter for a few hours to soften it, or you can also help it along in the microwave. It's going to mix a lot better if it's softened rather than just taking it right from the fridge. Our butter and cream cheese is in there. We have the whisk attachment on there and we are going to beat this together. So we have that closed and let's start. You're gonna need a spatula to kind of maneuver this around in the bowl as well. It's been about two minutes or so, and now we want to add powdered sugar to this mixture. So we need two, two cups of powdered sugar, and we're going to add it one at a time. So I have a cup of powdered sugar. We're gonna start slow here. I'm gonna measure out my second cup of sugar. I'm making messes, but that's okay. That's what baking is about. Yeah, so we're gonna scrape our bowl down to make sure all that sugar is getting in and getting mixed. And now we're going to add our next cup of sugar. Start slow. At this point, we're gonna put some vanilla, just a dash of vanilla and a dash of salt. Just a little pinch. And I'm gonna stop it one more time and scrape our bowl down. I do have some vanilla on the bowl there. So let's get that vanilla in the bowl. Oh, this is looking so good. I am such a fan of homemade frosting. It's the best. Okay, let's get it going. Give it a good mix and we're done. Let's see if we like the consistency of it. I do like the taste of it. However, I feel the frosting itself is a little bit thin. So I'm thinking I should add maybe a half a cup more of my powdered sugar. I think that would get us to the consistency that we're looking for, not too thin. I don't know if anybody else is so excited when they make their own baked goods as I am. It's so satisfying. Okay. I think we got it perfectly. My goodness, it is so good. That is really good frosting. You get just that cream cheese and, and, and the amount of butter is perfect in there and then that hint of vanilla. Wow, that is good cream cheese frosting. So now let's get our cupcakes and we'll put get the cream cheese on. Just so ridiculously good. It's time to taste try my frosting. I got this one. This one looks good to me. 
And here's our cream cheese frosting. Oh. Oh. The best frosting out there. You can put as much or as little as you like. I'm one of those people that like just a little bit of frosting, not too much. Mm. Mm. Happy dance. Mm. The frosting is light, it's fluffy, it's not too sugary, which is often my problem with frostings, but this is just a perfect balance. Yeah, that's it. I tell you what, this has been a real treat. And I hope that you can make this for your family or for yourself. And this frosting, everybody should learn how to make this frosting. I have to say this is an amazing day of baking in the Bake by Mom kitchen. The muffins came out perfectly. The frosting came out immaculate. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.